Hi, I'm Rogers, co-founder and CTO at DataChat. In this video, we'll walk through a technical demo of DataChat and explore how it works behind the scenes. You'll see how DataChat's agentic framework leverages Gel or internal DSL for data analytics to answer natural language questions against data in Snowflake while providing full traceability for transparency and debuggability. Hi, I'm Madeline, Product Marketing Manager and Technical Writer at DataChat. Today, I'm showing a demo of DataChat while discussing the behind-the-scenes functionality in Pipeline, from plain English queries through LLM interpretation into our proprietary language gel, execution against Snowflake databases, and debug traceability. We'll start within our application. This is the UI a typical user will see when working in DataChat. Here, we have loaded datasets consisting of four cleaned big box retail tables, categories, customers, orders, and products. There are over 6 million rows in the dataset across the four tables. These tables are displayed with cached values for the first 100 rows with a direct connection to a Snowflake database. Let's start by asking a question. Show me a bar chart of total television category sales by income level for California for people between the ages of 20 and 40. After query submission, the user query, column names, and column types are sent to the agent. The agent then makes decisions on what tools to use to respond to the user's question, which could involve calling other LLMs. For generating response workflows, we supply the LLMs with the needed metadata along with few shot examples over a RAG pipeline. The LLMs then translate the user intent into a plan of discrete analytics operations, which is then converted into GEL. GEL is a controlled natural language designed specifically for representing analytics workflows mapping directly to SQL and Python operations. The resulting gel code is not executed immediately. Instead, it forms a directed acyclic graph of skills, modular operations that range from data ingestion and transformation to visualization and machine learning tasks. This DAG is optimized through caching and task slicing before execution, ensuring that redundant operations are minimized and performance is maximized. At the end of execution, the Agenic framework also provides helpful debugging hints in the event of an empty result to help the user fix errors in their original query. After execution, DataChat produces data products like interactive charts or tables accompanied by their underlying gel workflows. This pairing allows for further iteration and collaborative debugging. Anyone can verify, modify, or even update the analysis with refreshed data. Let's clear the context so the agent doesn't incorporate any previous responses and ask another question. Create a comparison bar chart for total category sales split by Christmas season versus the rest of the year for all years. This question invokes a Christmas season value that can be interpreted by multiple dates depending on what part of the world you live in. I expect the result to vary here as I have not added or provided any additional context to the agent as to what my Christmas season actually is. Let's see what it comes back with. In this instance, we can see that Christmas season was determined to be the entire month of December. For specific business semantics like this, users can provide additional context to their datasets to help the LLM better reason with the user request. If we open the Data Assistant Dictionary, we can declare that Christmas season should be from Thanksgiving to December 25. From here, we can ask a follow-up question, taking context from the previous question. Create a comparison bar chart for category sales by averages split by Christmas season versus the rest of the year for all years. In this instance, we're remaining in context. The in-context learning occurs when we supply content relevant to the current question in the LLM's prompt. The LLM's prompt will have a static component containing instructions and other information that informs the LLM about its task. There is also a dynamic component that contains relevant few-shot examples 
such as sample question and answer pairs, schema of the data set with relevant definitions, previous questions asked, and solutions generated. When the result is returned, we can see based on the summary it provides, it incorporated averages as we specified and did a computation to compare each Christmas season against the rest of the year. If we check the underlying gel workflow, we can see its train of thought showing specific filters for Christmas season depending on the Thanksgiving date of the corresponding year. That wraps up our look at how DataChat processes and executes natural language queries. We've walked through how user input is interpreted via LLMs, translated into gel, optimized as a DAG, and executed against Snowflake data, all while maintaining transparency and traceability throughout. With in-context follow-ups, dynamic definitions, and accessible workflows, DataChat supports iterative analysis while providing visibility into what's happening behind the scenes. Thanks for watching.